the idea of the sleeper and the spindle began with me being asked by some friends to write a story for their anthology. And they said, would I take an existing story and do a sequel or a twist or a change about it? Snow White was probably the first woman I ever loved. I was three, I had an illustrated book, and I was jealous of that prince at the end. Sleeping Beauty, the idea of this woman who sleeps in this castle for a hundred years, and what would happen after a hundred years. I loved that story too, so I thought I could maybe blend the stories. It's always exciting when I get an email from Neil because it will contain a manuscript in it. I clicked on my inbox, and Sleeper in the Spindle appeared. And I knew immediately, I think from the first sentence, that this was going to be a lot of fun to do. One of the things I liked best were some of the characters that you would sneak in. My favorite of which actually is it's this giant sleeping troll-like thing they have to go past. In the book, actually, is one of the most disturbing, which is the city of the sleeping inhabitants. They, they, they're coming to life, they're covered in cobwebs because they've been sleeping, the spiders have been overactive. And I, I thoroughly enjoyed drawing that, although it was also quite daunting because it was a cast of thousands. I think a heavily illustrated book like this is simply an experience that you wouldn't have if you were just exposed to the text. You would never get to see things like the mushrooms growing in the milkmaid's pail. We were able to fill the pages, weren't we, with words and pictures. It's a story that works for adults and for children and you've illustrated it in a style that is pleasing, satisfying, and gorgeous. Whether you're a kid, whether you're a teen, whether you're an adult. I also think of it as a classic fairy tale in terms of sharing, you know, the shared reading. I can imagine parents and children reading this together and having maybe slightly different experiences as you do with a good story. With any luck, that's what we